Men of Reddit when was the last time you've cried and why? My marriage was on the verge of collapse when my ex-wife got a job offer in another state. She had been unemployed for some time so she had to take the job. We decided I should stay behind since I had a steady job and divorce was inevitable. My wife moved out and the kids stayed with me until she got a home in her new city. Taking my kids to the airport and putting them on a plane to move away from me was soul crushing. I held it together until they boarded. Once they got on the plane I lost my. My kids only lasted a few months with mom before packing up and moving back to live with me. Yay for dad. Sunday. Wife has sudden onset of insomnia and anxiety since Christmas which has started to trigger panic attacks. She had one while I was at work and called me. When I was free to call back my son answered the phone. I was sobbing listening to my six-year-old talk her through the breathing exercises we have practiced. That kid gets ice cream for life, no questions asked, and I might go cry again. Your kid is amazing. You guys will get through this. I'm not sure if this is an option for you, but a dog that is trained to help recognize when she's having difficulty and take appropriate steps to calm her might be worth looking into. If a trained dog isn't an option but a regular dog is, perhaps consider visiting a local shelter to see if there is a pup who would be a good fit for your family. Dogs are really good at picking up human emotion and are comforting and grounding. They can really help to disrupt thoughts that are spiraling out of control. Could be a good fuzzy friend to help your wife as well as your son when times are tough. I had to put my cat down yesterday. That sucked. My ex fiance left me after I spent nine days in the hospital battling dual pneumonia and almost dying. Three. Other comments. Some people use anger at an ex for doing a thing like that to propel themselves forward. And if you can get angry, do that for yourself when you're ready. But if right now all you can think about is how they're not a person even though they did that thing and how you miss them, it's okay to feel that too. I think post-breakup feelings are often more complicated than they suck them, dodged a bullet, and sometimes you gotta feel all of it, the anger but also the love, to get through. Sorry that happened an amp, hang in there. Months ago when my best friend was found dead in his car after a week-long search for hi miss year, turned out he killed himself. I lost a friend last year. I really do understand it's the pain like no other every time I consider suicide I cry thinking about him and remember the pain it caused for all of my friends. I was tucking in my seven-year-old daughter a couple of months ago, and she told me that she was worried about me dying before her. So I had a conversation about how old I am likely to live and that she will be an adult when I die. Then she said, but when you do die will you help me? because I need you so much, and I lost it. Now I'm crying. I'm not crying carrot I'm carrot not carrot crying carrot carrot I'm carrot carrot not carrot carrot crying carrot 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 okay carrot 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 I'm carrot 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 crying. Woke up at 4 a.m. after dreaming my dad told me he has days to live. Then realized he is actually dead. I have those dreams about my nan and my granddad. They suck so bad. The realization when you wake is just such a gut punch. It really is. I was wailing. Haven't cried that hard in a very long time. A few weeks ago, when one of my best friends told me he's going to be a dad, I can go for months and months without shedding a single tear. But these news got me really emotional, in the best sense of the word. This has been an eye-opening experience for me, as I had no idea I was capable of feeling such things. I've teared up a few times, but last time I legitimately cried was in 2010 when we put my childhood dog down. I was a senior in high school, we had him since I was in first grade. He was my first and only childhood dog, a Siberian Husky and I feel like we grew up in that house together. He had some cancerous tumor in his stomach that was spreading rather quick, and the attempt at removing didn't go so well as they couldn't get at all. We decided as a family to let him go peacefully so he didn't have to suffer as they promised us it would continue to grow and possibly cause him severe pain in the 
near future. I'll never forget holding him in my arms in that room as the vet asked me if I was ready for the moment. When she injected him I felt his entire body sink into my arms, he was lifeless in an instant. I was so happy he went peacefully without pain. My best friend growing up. I've never expressed my emotions from that moment to anyone besides my parents and my current girlfriend. Whenever I think back to that moment I get teary-eyed but I'm happy I was there for him in his final moments. I wouldn't change a thing if I could go back in time. Please try and be there for your pet if you ever have to make such a decision. When was the last time you cried and why? This comment, this comment right here, welp that brought back memories of having to carry my lab into the back of a truck after he had a stroke and then carry him into the vet. Time to go for a walk. I had to put down my house cattle dog. It was just me and her for 12 years and then I got married and she got sick shortly after. Worst day of my life since my grandfather passed. Added. Here's a pic of her that was usually my phone's wallpaper. Sadie https colon slash slash imager com gallery x91 x9 ad. She left knowing you have a new forever companionship with your spouse. Thanks. I think that too sometimes. I cried last night. About two years ago my dad received a Parkinson's diagnosis, and he is not responding well to responding well to treatment, and doesn't take care of himself. I started writing about him, what our relationship was and what it could have been, and sobbed, a lot. I can't say I've cried recently but I write every day, been doing it for years, and I have to say, it's the single most meditative process I do. It's almost pharmaceutically therapeutic to write things down and reflect on the words instead of abstract ideas in your head. Granted, I've never gone what you're going through, but writing daily has certainly helped me get through issues and problems and it's even shed light, sometimes, giving me answers. Writing distills, crystallizes, and clarifies thought and helps break the whole into parts. It takes practice, but I'd recommend it to everyone. Even some of the most badass men in history had diaries. Theodore Roosevelt, Shackleton, Muir, etc. Edit. A lot of people are asking about my process. I have a few separate Google Docs. A daily, monthly, and a master. If you don't do this, Google Docs will get bogged down. My master doc has literally thousands of pages and takes multiple minutes to load, so I use my daily and monthly to take the strain off. Every month, I'll copy my daily doc into monthly, and every year I do the same with monthly to master. These are like mini holidays for me. I start every day the same. January the 28th, 2020 entry hashtag then I start by writing the happenings of my day. If something sticks out to me, such as a certain emotional reaction to a person or event, I'll dedicate more time to that. I'll try to figure out why I felt that way. I don't believe in days, even if I never leave the house, I'll find something to write about. For example, I'll make a list of my favorite TV shows and try to see why those particular shows stick out to me. It's a great way to learn about yourself, to start answering some of your internal questions, and start discovering your personal values. It's a simple thing, but the process has been absolutely life-changing for me. I can go back in time and see exactly what I was up to any day. All the way back to 2012 it's like a superpower. It also makes my days feel longer. It helps me realize my goals and it helps me discover my person. In fact, I actually scored a dream job because I started doing this. I originally sucked, really sucked at writing, but over years and years of daily practice, I got a little better. Now I'm a professional writer, which is still hard for me to believe. I began writing and journaling last year as a last-ditch effort to combat some pretty serious depression and anxiety. Combined with meditation, I can't stress how monumental these little acts of self-reflection were for me. It absolutely changed my life. Everything you said was on point. I wish you the best on this journey. Month ago, was yelling at my kids because they were misbehaving and I put them to bed early. Broke down afterwards and cried on the stairs. 
knew I didn't have to yell as much and said some unnecessary things. Wife talked with me on the stairs and it turned into a turning point in my life and I'm doing much better with the discipline. Edit. Holy haven checked since I got off work and this blew up. Never hit my kids and hopefully never will. Immediately after the talk with the wife I went and apologized. It's never too late to apologize and explain to your children why you are yelling. This is so right. One of my most vivid childhood memories is of my dad apologizing to me for having yelled at me unfairly the day before. He explained he was feeling sick and reacted badly. It will show your children you respect them, and they will respect you more back. I had some dream in which I don't really remember what happened, but when I woke up I was sobbing like a child. I stopped almost immediately once I was awake. Very strange, and very ominous yet interesting. When my GF broke up with me through a phone call after six years, just couldn't hold it together edit, thanks for all the kind words and such. It's been a few weeks and I feel a bit better by now. We also met up and talked about it a bit, the sadness and frustrations still there, but she found the guts to talk to me about it personally and I appreciate that. Says she wanna stay friends and all that stuff but whatever, no idea how that's supposed to work out. Definitely can't just pretend nothing happened lol. I'm in the process of moving out and had quite the day, so thanks again. Really appreciate. Hope gets better for all of you commenting that you experience the same. Same bro. I feel you. Stay strong. This guy's girlfriend broke up with you too. She's on a mean streak. While I held my four-year-old daughter in my arms and realized there was nothing that I could do to save her from dying from mitochondrial disease, I don't think I had ever cried so hard before or since. Seven years later it still haunts me, but time does make it less painful. That helplessness. The anger cry combined with the grief cry combined with the hopeless cry and the loss of the future. You wanted cry. I know that cry too. It's a deep well in the heart. I'm so sorry about your daughter. Jesus Christ the cry. When you're kinda blind angry at the pointless and aimless nature of loss and illness. Seeing firsthand how truly unfair life actually is and being completely powerless to stop it. You feel it in your chest. A hot, molten, tight black hole that just pulls everything out of you. You don't even stop crying exactly. You just get too tired to keep going but you still feel that burning deep inside. I hate that cry. Took a small getaway trip, about 8 hour drive few weeks back due to stress. I played all of the songs I shouldn't play on the drive up and let myself unwind in the car and get all of that stuff out. Job stress, feelings toward my ex, the whole gamut, did me well, edit, gamut edit edit, to everyone peeming me, thank you for your stories, life can be hard, make time to find the gentle solitude you need, we'll all make it through this in time, slowly, but surely.